or yeah, this is Chopper 0001 uh, requesting permission to stop by McDonald's drive through I have a hankering for a Happy Meal. Hey kids, it's me, Kit. And me, Mayo. And we are here at the Hill Aerospace Museum in Ogden, Utah, and look, there are some big airplanes. There are so many airplanes here. There's big, giant airplanes. I want you to see how big this airplane is. Let's go show the kids. Come on. It's so big. Wow, look at that. This airplane is called the Globe Master II, and it's so big that just its tire is taller than Miles. Come stand next to this, Miles. Some airplanes are giant, like this one, and they can fit lots of people in them. Some airplanes are teeny, teeny, tiny, like this one. And this one can only fit a few people in it. And do you know what size is in between big, big, big and teeny, teeny, tiny? We call that area in the middle medium-sized. And there's a lot of medium-sized planes like this one. How cool! Should we fly like an airplane? Let's fly through those airplanes like an airplane. Ready? Get your wings out and start your engine. Come on! Let's land the airplane, kids. If you look to the skies, you can see airplanes doing everything. Carrying passengers, dipping down to the water to get a drink, or flying off into the sunset. Airplanes are always doing a wide range of jobs. And do you hear that? That's the sound of a jet airplane. There's a few different types of airplanes. One type of airplane is a prop plane. This airplane is called a T-28 Trojan. And this type of airplane flies through the air using a big propeller. Their propeller spins really fast. And it spins so fast that it pulls air past it and the airplane moves through the air, and as the air passes over the wings, it creates something called lift. And the lift is what pushes the airplane up into the sky. And the lift is created by the shape of the airplane's wing. Right there is the airplane's propeller, and right behind it is the airplane's engine. Whoa! Here are the wings! The body is called the fuselage. That part right there where the pilot sits and flies the airplane is called the cockpit. Can you say cockpit? Cockpit. It is cockpit. Cockpit. Good job. Can you say that at home? Cockpit. Do you know what color this airplane is? What color? Brown and green. and green. And brown and green together, like this, is called camouflage. Can you say that word? Camouflage. camouflage. Yeah, can you kids try that at home? It's the cuss sound again. Camouflage. Cool. Look, I see a helicopter in the air. Look at it. Propellers are not the only way that airplanes get up into the air. This airplane uses jet engines to push it through the air. The jets suck air in and push it out and it propels the airplane forward. Not all jet airplanes are small and fast. This is a giant jet transport that can carry cars and trucks and people and supplies. Look at how tiny those people are. 
There are so many airplanes out here, but there's even more flying vehicles inside. We're gonna go and check it out. What do you think, Miles? Let's go, kids. Now we're inside the museum. This museum is all about airplanes. Did you know that we couldn't always fly? There was a time when people were figuring out how we could fly up in the sky just like a bird. And the people who figured it out first were the Wright brothers. Come here. This is the Wright brothers plane. This is the first plane that actually worked. And it looks really different than planes that you and I ride on today, doesn't it? Look at that. After the Wright brothers built their first plane, everyone started working on how to make the airplane better. And next, we got airplanes that looked like this. They were single prop planes, and we call them biplanes because they have two wings stacked on top of each other. And come look at how old and rickety these airplanes are. They are so old that they'd be so scary to fly. Look at this old airplane. It's so old that the propeller is made out of wood. Look at that. A wooden propeller, it's so heavy. Today, we use materials that are much lighter and help the airplanes fly a lot faster. Oh, this might not be the fastest plane, but it's good enough to get me to Germany to buy a Bund cake. Oh, Bund cake, you say? Well, uh, hold on there, old chap. I'm coming with you. Yes. Guess what, Miles? Uh -huh. I see a really cool vehicle, and it's not an airplane. Mm. What, other, what other types of vehicles fly in the sky besides airplanes? Uh. What do you think? A helicopter? I see an old helicopter. Let's go take a look. Come on. Wow, what do you think of that? That's a crazy looking helicopter. Look at that glass bubble. The pilot would sit in that glass bubble and fly around. They fly around in this helicopter and the blades spin around so fast that it lifts up off the ground and you can fly it. But that looks like a scary thing to try to fly. What do you think? Would you want to fly that or do you think it would be scary? It will be scary. That would be pretty scary. What do you kids at home think? Would it be scary? Can you say that word? Scary. Scary, good job. That word starts with the S sound that a snake makes. Scary. Can you try that? Scary. Good job. What about you kids at home? Do you want to pretend to be an airplane? Mm -hmm. Put your airplane wings out and you're going to fly up high. Ready? <laughs> oh, he's flying like an airplane. <laughs> airplane wings out. Different airplanes have different jobs. This fighter plane's job is to fly around really, really fast. But that burns through fuel. I'm feeling a bit dozy over here. I could uh, definitely go for a pick-me-up. So, there are big tanker planes that can fly up in the air and fuel up fighter planes while they're still flying. The tanker extends a fuel pump and the jet connects to the fuel pump in midair so they can get more fuel and continue their flight. Definitely feeling better over here. Here we go. This is called the fighter gallery and there's jet fighters in here. They're the fastest type of airplane. These types of planes use jet engines that suck air in and push it out so fast that it pushes the airplane forward. Come on, Miles, let's look around. Hey, Goose, uh, last one home's a rotten egg. <laughs> oh, Maverick, you're so mature. I see some helicopters over there. 
Should we go look at the helicopters? Yeah. Come on. Let's go look at them. Whoa, look at that. Do you remember the video that we made about firefighters? What do firefighters do? They put out fires. They put out fires, and sometimes fires get so big that they start burning forests. And come look at this. Here's a firefighter suit that's used to fight forest fires. The firefighter dresses up in this, and that suit is an anti-flame suit. That's right, back and forth, left to right. Make sure you got good stance, spray that fire down. And it keeps the firefighter cool when they're fighting fires, and guess what? Some fires get so big that the firefighters have to climb up into an airplane or a helicopter like this. Do you see that firefighter back there? He's in the firefighting helicopter, and the helicopter pushes water out of that little hole to put out forest fires by flying over them. Rescue helicopters can fly over bodies of water and pick up big buckets of water to use to put out fires. Once they have their water, they can take off and take that water to the source of the fire and help firefighters on the ground. And look at how big the propellers are, Miles. Those propellers spin around and they make a lot of noise, which is why some people call helicopters choppers because it sounds like they're chopping through the air. Look at how big. Well kids, there's so many things to look at and Miles and I, we're gonna keep looking at these. So, if you're ever in Ogden, Utah, be sure to tell your parents to check out the Hill Air Force Base and Museum, where you can see all of these flying machines yourself. And parents, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media on Instagram and Twitter at Kit Explorers. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Do we look around? Okay. <laughs>